Well, I have a lot of memories. I think most of my best memories are, are giving, giving tours, and introducing people to the museum, and talking about them. And le I always learn something from people when I do tours. It's amazing the insights that people have when they look at a work of art, how they react to it. I love the Nelson Atkins because there's a little bit of everything right here in Kansas City, so I can see things from Impressionists and the Caravaggio and stuff that's new and current and stuff that's old, um, and I'd never have to leave home. It's all right here. I like um, the, the sculpture paintings and the um, paintings that the people make. I think they're not afraid of doing whimsical things. The shuttle cottons, I think, yes. is a good example of that. If you do art like once or twice, you can kind of understand how it want to do it. I just came here today um, because this is a place where art is revered. It's just nice to be able to uh, drive 30 minutes to see world-class art. I go to school in Kansas City and one of the reasons why I love the city so much is my first visit here. I came to the Art Museum and I was like, oh, this is so awesome. I have to live somewhere close to here. When I usually come, I usually um, bring students to see the Hispanic art, and I've had great docents that take us on tour. So the kids always love the, the horse, the, um, uh, I want to say the armory that's in there. One of the best memories was when uh, bringing a group of children here, and when they have the cars that they can pass out, and it's like a little um, hunt, and they find the pieces of art, and it was so much fun to find the Buddha. They were so excited about that. And years ago, I came here with her mother when she was in school, and I haven't been back since. I'm excited about being able to show them some of the things we saw. It's just a great place to spend an afternoon walking around looking at beautiful things, and um, we want our son to appreciate art, so it's a good place to bring him to. I'm architecture student actually, so um, yeah, I really love that Stephen Hall um, has been able to just design this and it's a great icon for, for the city. You know, I love the Egyptian, or the uh, area, and I have it and I'd like to see more of it and really get to, to look through because it's just so interesting. I really like the Chinese art section, yeah. Uh, I don't know, remember what I went there when I was like, 14, and I remember thinking I really wanted to go. You can see stuff of very medieval quality, and you can also see stuff that's, you know, very abstract in the same building. You know, it's a very wide collection, very good. It's a good way to spend an afternoon, I think. I like every, all the paintings and sculptures, especially the sculptures and stuff on the roof. The roof that's held together uh, with the, the big Buddha, that's a, an incredible treasure to have. I think I like that you know or the cloisters are fun I would like to move into the cloister area I just love the whole place the whole building especially when we have our um, feature exhibits coming it's so gorgeous well, I like um, this place because it is the artwork is very realistic and cool plus it's pretty um, also pretty abstract too. And um, I really like how those things outside are pretty big. Gosh, it's a neat, you know, as you well know, and as well Kansas City knows, this is a treasure. And if you're into any history, anything, you, it starts here. Kansas City starts here.